The successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region was a real shock for Russian propaganda and forced it to change the tone of its statements. Now Russian TV no longer talks about capturing Kiev or Kharkov in three days, but instead prepares Russians for the fact that the Russian Federation will have to lose its territories. For example, propagandist Maxim Yusin believes that the Russian Federation will have to sacrifice the entire border area. He stated this on the air of The Meeting Place, program on the NTV channel hosted by the well-known propagandist Andriy Nokin. Calm down, try to look cynically. Although it is incredibly difficult, less emotions, look at the map. At the map of Russia, preferably, and compare these lost territories with the map of the huge Russia. Yes, we need to evacuate from all the border areas, from everything. Prepare for the worst case scenario. Prepare for the fact that these territories, God willing, without people, in order to evacuate everyone, including old women, will have to be sacrificed, he said. Earlier, it was reported that Russian propagandist Vladimir Solovyov spoke on air about the possibility of Russia's defeat in the war, commenting on the breakthrough of the Ukrainian army in the Kursk region. Russian director and regular participant in Solovyov's show, Karen Shaknazarov, admitted that Russia could lose the war. We must proceed from the fact that we can lose. We can, if such blunders continue. He said, describing the events near Kursk, and added that this is not panicking, but an understanding of the price that the Russian Federation will have to pay. During Shaknazarov's speech, Solovyov nodded his head, agreeing with him, and at the end he declared that if Russia were to be defeated, there would be neither the country nor humanity apparently threatening a nuclear strike. There, the actions of the Russian armed forces in this region were called a gaffe. In turn, propagandist Olga Skabeva told Russians with horror on live television about the entry of British Challenger 2 tanks into the Kursk region. In the Russian Federation, the so-called Prigozhin No. 2, Georgi Zakrevsky, has once again become active, calling for a change of power in the country. A new video appeared on the internet from the owner of the Paladin military group, Zakrevsky, who once again criticized Putin and the Russian Defense Ministry for their inability to conduct special military operations. He first recorded a virtually identical video back in November 2023. Almost a year later, Zakrevsky became active again, the Ukraine 365 channel reports. According to him, Putin alone is to blame for all the troubles of modern Russia. The special military operation did not go according to plan. Drones are flying to St. Petersburg and even attacked the Kremlin. There is practically nothing left of the once formidable Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation, and the aviation is also gradually being driven out of the battlefield by the armed forces of Ukraine. Russia is already in trouble, so a change of power is necessary. Zakrevsky emphasized, against the backdrop of the war in Ukraine, the people of Russia are becoming poor and drinking themselves to death. The country is overrun with migrants. Commanders who have never been to the front receive orders and medals from the hands of the Russian Defense Ministry and Putin, while ordinary soldiers of the Russian Armed Forces suffer from repressions from their command. Zakrevsky became a media personality only after Prigozhin's death, but unlike him, he criticizes Putin for the collapse of the Russian army. The Paladin PMC has about 300 people who have taken part in battles in Syria and Africa. Georgi Zakrevsky was born in Moscow in 1971. He is a lawyer, military consultant, and combat training instructor. He is the peacemaker. He is in the peacemaker base. Let us recall that against the backdrop of the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region, new measures are being taken in Moscow to strengthen Putin's security. Two special regiments, Oman and Rozgvardia units protecting the Russian capital have created daily reserves. Additional forces are sitting at bases in case of emergency for rapid response. Probably such strengthening of security measures is connected with the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The Kremlin fears that sabotage groups can penetrate the territory of the Russian Federation through the combat zone to eliminate the enemies of Ukraine, which include the top leadership of the Russian Federation and its servants.